in this quick lesson I'm going to talk to you about the color adjustment tab in the bitmap and image tools in the design center. Here we have a typical image and we have the standard adjustments over here, brightness, contrast, saturation, and gamma. What we need to do is select the image and we can adjust the brightness or any of these settings by simply clicking on the up and down arrows. You can see that they're immediately affected to the image and I can reset those as I go. I can also use the slider here to adjust these settings and as you can see I can take all these things to an extreme and simply reset them if I'm not happy with what I've done. Saturation, as you can see, applies a lot of color there. I can also bring it back off so it's almost black and white and just reset it. And gamma is another one as well. So those settings adjust the image and if I want to apply those settings permanently I need to click flatten and that will actually turn the changes I've made to the image to a permanent change. Therefore be careful when you use flatten because once you've done that, other than pressing undo, it's a permanent change. The other thing I can do here is adjust the blur. As you can see there's a bit of pixelation around the edges here. So if I click apply you can see that that's improved the look of that. I can bring it straight back in and I've blurred the image so to speak. I can also undo that now. So I've talked to you about these advanced options here. When I click this button here the image editor comes up. You can see I've got similar tools and features but more of them. I can adjust things like temperature and grayscale and I can even color correct each channel individually. Let me just show you. I'll change the temperature here so it looks more like this pinkish color and you can see it comes in like so. And if I'm not happy I can just undo that. Another thing I can easily do is reduce the colors of the image. So I click here and then I can reduce the colors. So that's how all of these advanced color adjustment tools work. That's the end of this lesson. Thank you.